How's everybody doing? This is Yanko Maceda, founder of Tabanero Cigars, where we believe in the enjoyment of craftsmanship. That, at this time, I will stop time, reflect on life, and plan the future ahead. How much success, how much success is good for you? Do you care? Is success in it, anything in your, in your, in your list? Is it, do you care about success? Do you just go about life? Or how, how you measure success? Uh, you feel successful as an individual with your, your career, the, the, the work that you perform, do you feel successful uh, with your relationship? Do you feel successful with your kids as a, as a father? How do you feel successful or do you really thought about being successful? The being successful for you has something to do with your purpose of what is your purpose in life? Is your purpose in life and success related? These are things that we think a lot when we're smoking cigars. These are questions. This is uh, fog in your head as an entrepreneur. <clears throat> through, the whole, through the whole week, through the whole day. This nice uh, Robusto Nero, Mexican San Andres. It's pretty cracked in here. They let it drop at the shop. So I said, that one is mine. I know how to smoke that one. I wouldn't give this cigar to a customer. This stays in the in-house and we smoke it in-house. I will never hide anything like this and try to pass it on to my, my clients. So I'm asking these questions in the beginning of the uh, uh, blog because um, it, it's hard to measure success. It's hard to measure success. People th people get confused and they think it, ha uh, it has to do with money, that you want more money. People think that you want more power. Uh, I don't know. I haven't been there yet. but to the level of success that I had, that I have in my life up to this point, to me it has nothing to do with money, it has nothing to do with uh, power so far, so far. It has to do a lot with purpose, purpose, my life purpose, why I was placed here. There's two important days in your life, and I read it and I listen to uh, uh, motivate motivation speakers and it makes all the sense in the world there's two important days the day you were born of course you had a chance to your your mother brought you here your mother your, your mom a uh, female brought you here to earth by the grace of God and with the help of a, of of a, of a male of a guy of a guy you came here. That was a really important date, I believe, for everyone to have a chance to be in this beautiful world because it is beautiful. It doesn't matter how difficult things can get. It is a beautiful world. And what is the second date? The second, the second most important day of your life. And it's hard to say it was this day, but it's, but definitely it was one day. <laughs> Most of us don't remember which day exactly, in my experience. But there was a second day of your life that is the most important day. Two days, the day you were born and the day you found your purpose. You found your purpose. Why in the world you came here? But don't get me wrong, there's many people that they had the first important day arriving here to this beautiful world. 
and they never have a second day. <laughs> they never have a second day because they go through the whole life just being an instrument, just being going with the flow. And and I respect that. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you choose your life to 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 just you know pass through the world and and don't don't really look for any type of success that's fine with me that's fine that's totally right that's totally right but for great thinkers for great thinkers and usually people who enjoy the leaf we think a lot we tend to think a lot it is really important what is our purpose in life why we came here why we came here and that has to do also a lot with success because once you start thinking or you have an idea why you were here the first thing to reinforce to make sure that yes that's my purpose you start measuring by success okay if really this is my purpose in life how successful I am <laughs> how successful I am okay this is what I came to do I enjoy I like it but how successful I am I had a great breakfast. We sit outside, looking at the water. We have nice bacon, fried eggs, bagels. Um, great orange juice that I discovered thanks to my friend Ken. I can't drink any other any other orange juice now. <laughs> Woo! It's called coral coral reef coral reef. Man, I thought I had orange juice. But until I tried that orange juice, woo, it's amazing. I remember before to drink the Tropicana orange juice that I thought that was the most uh, decent one. I had to put a little bit of uh, carrot, ca organic carrot juice, mix it with it to kind of, I realized that it was kind of to kill a little bit the bitterness of the orange juice. With this coral reef, coral reef orange juice, uh, a small batch from here, from Florida, Oh boy, that is amazing, that is amazing, it makes me think of my cigars, small batch, no, no uh, rushing that we need to do a lot, uh, we got a lot of pressure that we need to, no, small batch. So once you find your purpose in life, and again, it's easy for me to say it. It's easy for me to say it because earlier in my life, when I was 27, 26, I realized that I, I, I knew since I was a kid that I was a dreamer. I was a dreamer. I, mean, I was an average C guy. I wasn't that smart at school, but I, I don't, I, I later on find out that not being book smart, that doesn't mean that you're not going to be successful. <laughs> so uh, I was, since I was a kid, I was a dreamer. I was a dreamer. And thanks to my mother always talking to my, to my ear asleep and telling me that uh, to make me a believer, I think is why I have accomplished in my own little world so much as an individual, as a person. And again, it has nothing to do with the amount of money or, uh, or the amount of stores or how many things I'm doing. I have a store in Ybor City, Tampa, Florida. Uh, I have a, a really successful store. I have a really successful store, 1,500 square feet, tiny. Um, I have a pretty successful website that is a dream come through. 
It's been 11 years of working nonstop on that website and also my brand. And now I have a small factory, a small uh, 2,000 square feet, 2,500 square feet uh, factory in Nicaragua that does packaging. That does packaging. That is about to start doing packaging, cigar boxes. So that's, that's my success. That's my success when it comes to material stuff. But in, a, in my personal life, how successful I am, I found what I really love to do, what I really enjoy, what it drives me nuts, but I don't give up. I keep going, looking for better ways to do things. And also in my, per and, and again, we're talking about success and the first things I talked about is business, because that's how in here, in this part of the world, most of us, most everybody see you, how success you are, you are when it comes to material stuff. Nobody really look at you and go, man, he has a, he has a beautiful relation. He has two kids, that, you know, they're growing strong. They one plays soccer, one they look like happy kids. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> they don't give a damn. But to me, that's my biggest success biggest success because growing up with a single mom being able to have a family and 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 a happy family i'm the grumpy one because everything that i that is going on in my head that's a lot of success but because i have already i believe uh, somehow achieve gain some level of success when it comes to a family and you can rush the process of family. You can rush it. You can be rushing the growing up of your kids. You need, <laughs> you need to be patient and, and keep working every day on making them better individuals for society. You're not growing them for you or for them or for grandpas to make grandpas feel so, uh, proud of how good of a job you did. You're growing your kid for society to hopefully uh, make a better world. So yes, so far, I have experienced a lot of success when it comes to family. Now in business, um, you can manipulate things. You can, you can invest money, you can look for investors, you can, can go forward faster. So you have more playroom when it comes to business. But one is enough, one is enough. Probably some people, and they have, people have, uh, Mention that they have said, man, Yanko, I wish I was you. And in my mind, I go, well, you know, be careful what you wish for. Because the amount of noise that I have in my head all the time, the amount of um, uh, responsibility that I have, I don't know if an average person can deal with it. I don't know if an average pencil person will be able to wake up every day or most of the time just stay in bed scared over everything that he has going on. Or just give up, just say, you know, forget it, let it go in self, and if it works, yes, if it doesn't work, not. That doesn't exist in my mind. Everything is going to work, everything has to work, but that takes a lot of responsibility. There's no if, or, or when, or, if you know if someday that i have if you if you want to go and see if you pay attention on my blogs that i i tried a long time ago to delete if or someday no 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 so how much success how much success is is, is enough how much because um you're thinking that when uh you become successful all this noise all this noise that you have in your brain is going to quiet down it's going to and then you're going to be able to enjoy more more of the journey because sometimes we we don't realize that uh we go into an extreme and we're not enjoying as much the journey because the amount of worries that you have in your head and you go, well, when I'm pretty successful, when things are, you know, when I'm really, really successful, that noise is gonna go away. I will feel 100% sure. And, but what I've been talking and listening to all the entrepreneurs, 
that is difficult. To quiet your mind and feel 100% successful, uh, secure of yourself, you got to work on yourself a lot, a lot. And I have an acquaintance, someone that some days, I don't know, we will be friends because I'll be in Estelí a lot more often. That is uh, someone that I admire, respect a lot. AJ Fernandez, Abdel Fernandez, and AJ Fernandez. And, and I admire the guy. And I understand him a lot because in the beginning, I thought that I had to do, I had to do with money. He thinks, he even says that it's money, but I don't think it's money. He describes it like that, but I don't think it's money. He's in love with what he does and he wants to be the best. He wants to be the best. He wants to be, he wants to do more of what he's already doing, what he's already mastered. He's young, he's, he's, he's hungry for life. So he keeps growing and growing and growing. He's a 60 million cigars a year, 60 million cigars a year, 3,000 employees. I got, I got 11 employees. He has 3,000, I got 11 employees, and I mm, produce, I can, I can, I used to produce and sell 120,000 cigars a year. He does 60 million cigars a year. So you see the difference between one guy and the other. And we are, we are pretty close. In a sense, we are pretty close because I'm always thinking of him, following him. In a sense, uh, I, I, I admire him. Many people tell me, yeah, but a lot of his cigars are really pungy, really strong, you know, to a point that is not uh, enjoyable. Okay, okay, you know, uh, okay, fine. I, I agree with that. He does uh, really strong cigars. But um, I'm not really paying attention to those details. I'm paying attention of his success, of the amount of success and how he does it. That's what I'm learning, what I'm trying to learn from him. And then I would tweak my things the way I like it. You know, I don't have to be exactly what he's doing. For instance, someone else that is my mentor, and I never got to meet him, but hopefully I will meet their uh, civilians, their their kid, their their sons. Is Padron. Padron, Padron is one of my biggest mentors because the quality of cigars, the consistency, the principles that he had in the beginning, and and to the rest of uh, his journey how successful he was with family, how he was able to show the way for their kids to fall in love with the industry, and how he, he said, this is what I'm going to do, this is how much I'm going to enjoy, and that's it. Padron has always been, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, 10 million cigars a year, 10 million cigars a year. Do he have the potential to do 60 million, 100 million cigars? Probably yes, but that's not his thing. So I'm trying to find what is my medium, what is my, my point that I will go, you know what, I'm, uh, I think I'm happy here. Um, and I ask myself, this is, this is the noise in my head. This is the noise in my head. Okay, Yanko, you can say you're just happy with the shop in Ebor, the shop in Ebor, you know, a pretty successful shop that allows you to go on vacation once a year you drive a decent car, have a, a decent, beautiful home. That's it. Why do you want to keep going? Um, well, everyone is doing what they're supposed to in the shop. I don't like to do, to be doing, I don't, I don't want to keep biffing, biffing my shop. Like doing live events, bring live music, and and try to maximize as much as I can my shop of making money, because I like the shop the way it is. It's a boring place. It's a boring place, in a sense that there's not a lot going on. Background music, no TVs, but 70 air conditioning set all the time. Great temperature pretty clean air because I have exhaust fans getting the air out and a, and a pretty nice decent place that people 
when they look around and they let the imagination go, they go, every time I come here, I see something new. And it's not that uh, we brought it new, it's been there, but you're just spending more time and being more aware of the time, of the moment when you are Tabanero. So I don't want to keep growing Tabanero in a sense of doing all the things to bring more clientele. No, it is perfect like that. I don't want to grow anymore. If I, when, if, if I had her to, to push other banderings in, uh, with Tabanero by bringing alcohol, by converting Tabanero to something else, that's not my that's not what i want when the time comes i will replicate tabanero in another place that um that i believe is is needed a tabanero 365 oasis so that's a good sample of comparing with padron that's what i want with tabanero with tabanero in Ybor city now i went off so that's a good example of that's the amount of success that I want to have in Tabanero. Tabanero before the B, uh, BC, Tabanero BC, Tabanero BC, before Kobe, before the Chinese virus, um, just the shop, just the shop. It was already at a million dollar um, in sales, just the shop, not the website. So, 1,500 square feet, making that kind of money, and six employees making a good living, taking money home. I'm happy with that one. That's a lot of success. But now in my personal life, what do I do with the rest of my time? What do I do with the rest of my time? Because that one is working perfectly. To a certain extent, because yes, like everybody else, it's become pretty difficult to find good help. So there's a question that comes again. How much success is enough? I'm already successful with Tawanero. How much success is enough? I learned and I have practiced through the years to be okay to be uncomfortable most of the time to be uncomfortable most of the time it would be nice if i can sit here five times a week four hours three hours i can be here three hours easy i can burn one hour um wasting time on my phone i can utilize one hour reading a good book and then the other hour just sleeping in here in my shop in Ewer City will allow me to do that but I will feel like my life is going away sitting in here in this chair looking at the water I don't need I don't need that much therapy the whole week so what do I do with my time how do I get out of my comfort zone my nice backyard my home how do I get out of that comfort zone? Well, we go to another country and start something else in another country. So now I'm in Nicaragua. How much success do I want in Nicaragua to feel successful? How much? And when we become pretty successful in Nicaragua, is that success is gonna be enough? Right here, Tampa, the website, the shop, and the box shop in Nicaragua, the cigar shop in Nicaragua, cigar factory in Nicaragua, small boutique, Bocay, Chinchal in Nicaragua, producing, making all the people's uh, life easier because I believe on on taking care of my 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 employees the people who serve me to for me to serve my customers how much how much success how much success is gonna be a hey, Yanko that's it you 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 you're doing pretty good in a sense of blessing others on serving your customers that's it stay stay put don't get into anything else
how much that's the question how much and then the biggest question is when is the noise the constantly noise that I have in my head that I don't really have time off I think because even reading a book I'm reading the book and I'm comparing with my life with everything that is going on during the day and I'm remembering things and making notes when that noise will stop I don't know. I usually don't ask for comments, but um, I don't know. Put in the comment in there. How much success? Just put a, a few sentences. How much success for you? For you? I would like to hear all those people' opinion. How much success for them? It quiets their noise in their minds. And also share in there if you had the second best day of your life. Share in there. Don't 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 be shy. Share in there because when I bump into you guys in the shop or someone comes from north, oh yeah, I watch your live. You know they're entertaining. Um, share in the comments. I read all the comments and I and even if it's someone uh, most of the time saying something positive, I I just hit like. To make sure that you, that I you know I read it, and the people who ask me questions, I also respond questions. Not right at the moment you ask a question, but a couple of days later I respond to your question. So put in the comment for you how much success you think it will quiet the noise, the insecurities that you have in your head. And if you have your second day, if you have your second most important day, put it in the comments. When do you knew? You had your second most important day in your life, that it was when you found purpose. 